Hi, welcome to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 6-1 from R.C. Hibbler and Jimmy Statics 12 edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the force in each member of the truss and state if the members are in tension or, com or compression. So to solve this problem, we will isolate each joint and we will draw the forces and then we will apply the equations of the equilibrium. So at joint D, if I draw two perpendicular axes here, then we have one vertical force like this, one horizontal force and one force at certain angle. Now, now this angle let's call this theta. This angle is same as this angle. This is also theta. And theta is equal to tan inverse to the perpendicular over the base which is 2 plus 2 4 meters. So theta is equal to 26.57 degrees. This force is 600 Newton force. Let's call this one force is FDC. And this force is FDE. Now I have assumed the direction of these two forces as a tension force. So that's why they are directed outwards. Now these assumed direction could be wrong. If we are getting the negative answer, which means that the direction we have assumed are wrong. Now we have drawn the forces which are acting at joint D. Now by using the equations of the equilibrium, we have sum of the forces in x direction equals to zero. I'm considering right hand side as positive. We have 600 plus, uh, let me also resolve these, this FDC force into its components. So I have one vertical component and, and one horizontal component. Let's call this one FDCY and this one is FDCX. So we have FDCX which is FDC sine theta equals to 0. From here FDC is equals to negative 600 divided by sine and theta is equals to 26.57 degrees. If I write here theta equals to 26.57 degrees. So FTC is equals to negative 1341.41 newtons. Now we are getting the negative answer which means that the direction we had assumed for FDC force is wrong. This is not a tensile force but a compressive force. So this is a compressive force and it should be directed towards the joint D, not away from it. So now we have to find the force FDE. So we have sum of the forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. We have negative FDE minus FDC cos theta. This vertical component equals to 0. Now FDE is equals to negative FDC cos theta. We have negative. FDC is also negative and cos 26.57 degrees. So FDE is equals to 1200 newtons.
Now we are getting the positive answer, which means that the direction we had assumed for FTE force is correct and this is a tensile force. So this member is in tension. Now at joint C, because we have found the forces into two members, we have to find the forces into four more members. So at joint C, at joint C, if I again draw two perpendicular axes here, then we have, let me zoom in, we have the force DC which is a compressive force we have the force of this member CB I'm also considering it as a compressive force then we have the force of this member EC so let's consider it as a compressive force so now we have FDC, FCB and FEC. Now if this angle is theta which means that the angle made by the vertical right here is also theta. So this angle is also theta which means this angle is also theta. So now we can resolve the forces into their components. So I have one vertical component right here and one horizontal component. Similarly, one vertical component right here and one horizontal component. Let's call this FCBY, FCBX and this one is F D C X this is F D C Y now we have drawn all the forces and their components now we have to use the equations of equilibrium so by using the equations of the equilibrium I have sum of the forces in x direction equals to zero I'm considering right hand side as positive we have FEC plus FDCX which is FDC sine theta and minus FCBX which is FCB sine theta equals to zero. Let's call this equation one we have another equation of the equilibrium which is sum of the forces in y direction equals to zero I am considering up direction as positive we have positive FCBY which is FCB cos theta we have negative FDCY which is FDC cos theta equals to zero so from here FCB it is equals to FDC. Now here we have correctly drawn the direction of FDC force which is a compressive force. So we do not have to put the negative with the magnitude of FDC force. So now we have correctly write it as FDC is equals to 1341. 0.41 newtons. We will not put negative here because we have now corrected the direction of FDC force. Now if I put the value of FCB equals to FDC into this equation, equation 1, then FEC plus FDC sin theta minus, now FCB can be written as FDC so we have FDC sin theta 
equals to 0 these two will cancel out so we have FEC equals to 0 so there is no force in the member FEC the force in the FCB member is same as F FTC 1341.41 Newton and this member has a compressive force now we do not have to put compressive or tensile forces sign with FEC force because there is no force in it so now we have found the forces into four members we have found the forces into two more members at joint E if I zoom in then at joint E I have two vertical forces one external horizontal force and one horizontal force of the member then I have one force at certain angle let's call this angle as alpha now alpha can be found by 10 inverse 2 over 2 this 2 and this 2 so alpha is equal to 45 degrees now let's draw the forces on the joint E so we have if I draw two perpendicular axes here we have one vertical force FDE which is a tensile force and then we have a FEA force I am also considering it as a tensile force we have the external force of 900 newtons which is a compressive force I am also con considering the force of the member FEC as a compressive force well FEC is zero so it doesn't matter if we, t if we take it as compressive or as a tensile force because the magnitude is zero it is a zero force member Come. So, so now we have one force at certain angle so let's call this one as also a compressive force this angle right here is alpha this is 900 Newton external force this member is FDE this is FEB and this force is FEA and this horizontal force is of FEC I can also resolve this force into two components one vertical component and one horizontal component let's call this one F E B Y and this one F E B X now we so now we have to use the equations of the equilibrium we have sum of the forces in x direction equals to zero right hand side as positive have 900 minus FEC minus FEB sin alpha equals to 0 we have FEC equals to 0 and FEB is known sorry it is unknown right now FEB is alpha is equals to 45 degrees so we have FEB is equals to 900 divided by sine 45 degrees so FEB 
is equals to 1272.8 newtons so now we have found the magnitude and FEB is a compressive force so it is a compressive force now we have another equation of sum of the forces in y direction equals to 0 up direction as positive have F B E minus F E A plus F E B cos alpha equals to zero. So F D E F D E is known, which is twelve hundred newtons. So F D E is equals to twelve hundred newtons and FEB is also known which is 1272.8 newtons and alpha is 45 degrees so from this equation FEA is equals to 2100 newtons and FEA is a, is a tensile force so the member is in tension so now we have found all the forces and their nature that whether they are compressive or tensile or whether the members are in tension or in compression so let us write a generalized result here we have the member DCDE CB EC EA and EB The member DC is under compression, DE is in under tension, CB is in compression, EC is neither in compression nor in tension, EA is in under tension and EB is in compression. So now we have found our answer. So this is the answer to this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question about this problem or any of the geometry issue, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.